Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Whew, this has been a busy one. I have been running around all day doing last minute preparations getting this house ready. Now it's not that big of a job and it's not like I'm cleaning a lot. It's just I move back and forth and you can appreciate the food part of it. I have to move all my kitchen stuff up to the cabin, all my food up to the cabin and then all my clothes and all my various stuff around the house. And so it's more like just it's scattered and it just ends up me doing little bits. And then of course I have to wait almost to the last minute to clean the kitchen because I'm using the kitchen all the time. Um, I did a little bit of cleaning earlier and I'm kind of making my workspace um, uh, smaller as the day goes on. In fact, um, I've got, I'm gonna eat one more time after I make a salad, about five-ish. I'm gonna finish off the kitchen and I'll be good to go and just a few last details tomorrow. But anyhow, the subject today is consistency. And you know, it, it says raw vegan consistency, but this is a life lesson. See, consistency is very important in whatever we're trying to achieve in life. Um, and like uh, definitely within the food, this could be, this could be applied to any of the people, like, you know, the cooked food, vegans, raw to, whether you're raw to four, starch solution, or fully raw. And I see it going back and forth between the two. You've got to give whatever you're doing, you got to have a little bit of patience, be consistent with it, and give it a little bit of time to work. Um, I see people jumping around, you know, they're doing this today. They just finished a 40-day ju juice cleanse, and they're all on the raw, 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 and then they go spinning out. And then all of a sudden they're proclaiming raw is no good and then they're doing another, you know, they're doing another style, which is okay. But for any of them, whether you're doing raw till four, whether you're doing starch solution, whether you're doing fully raw, um, whatever you're doing on a plant-based lifestyle, I would say don't make, like commit to something, learn as you're going, but you kind of got to stick with a way of doing things at least for a little while to know if it's going to work or not. I mean, you can't expect, you know, we've put a lot of toxins in our body throughout our life. You can't expect to shed all that weight, feel this next level of energy, have just completely bright eyes. In two weeks after doing this, it takes a little bit of time to get some of that gunk out of our bodies and just to get a, to recalibrate our bodies and get it um, get them getting them functioning at a different level and getting them functioning on the real food that we should have been eating all along, all along. But I think the thing that holds people back more than anything is just impatience, and they're not being consistent with it, and they're not they're not being very observant of what they're doing or maybe you know we all do that when i say they it's all we, this is human nature stuff we all like to kind of like rationalize things we all kind of try to uh block things out and not really pay attention to some of the stuff we're doing but in the end it goes back to and i'll get to it maybe i'm gonna start mentioning that in every video if you've got that food journal if you've got that food journal there is no question about anything. If you've got that food journal and you're honest in your food journal, and hey, if you want to, make it like your secret diary. Nobody sees it but you, but be honest with yourself in that food journal. And then you can go back and then what you're gonna probably find is when, whereas a lot of people are like, well, this didn't work for me or that didn't work for me. Well, you're gonna probably go back through that food journal a lot of times and find out it was you, that you weren't that you weren't being consistent with the raw vegan lifestyle, or you weren't being consistent with a high carb vegan lifestyle. Raw to four, you were, um, you know, there was a lot of fat in there. There was a lot of cheat days in there. There was a lot of going off the rail. There was a lot of, there was just a lot of things in there that were not optimal if you want to get certain results on this lifestyle. So, what what always happens? Like sometimes. Um, with various people, whether it's just that, whether it's YouTubers or um, in social media, they don't even have to be people. When I talk about these, it doesn't have to be somebody that's like got a following or whatever, but I just see people just jumping around, you know, and um, going from one thing to the next. And uh, like a lot of times you almost need a program to keep up even with your friends online in this uh, plant-based uh, niche that we network in is that they, you know, you, I'm, I'm sometimes like, oh, so so everybody will say, hey, do you know Joe, blah, blah, blah is doing blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, they were doing something diametrically opposite of that the last time I was aware of that person. But um, 
Consistency in life. Um, you know, things worth having are not necessarily going to always come easy. Um, although I find this lifestyle about the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. It's just like I've got that license to eat. It's like that day that I start, got interested in raw veganism and I started eating like this and I switched to this lifestyle was just like, wow. I never knew it was going to be just like I was going to be in the best health of my life, but I was also never going to be hungry, was going to be able to eat, you know, every, anything that I wanted. Um, you know, I, gave, I like to give things a little bit of time. I, think, I remember mentioning this, and I wouldn't even have a clue as to which video. I just remember mentioning this one time, that to hone yourself in on whatever lifestyle you're going to go for, whatever you're trying to do, don't make such drastic changes. In other words, if you've decided, okay, I'm going to do this, and this is how I've figured out, or this is how I'm thinking I should be eating right now, do that and stay with that for a while. And I'm not saying close your eyes and if you learn something new, just be stubborn and be and in the face of something obviously not working, doing it. But give it a little bit of time. Um, stick with it for a while. When you do make changes, I would I would I totally recommend this. You know, whether you're going back from Ronald Four to Ronald Vegan or from totally Ronald Vegan to Ronald Four, make incremental changes don't just like go from one opposite to another don't go from eating like this to just its polar opposite make smaller changes in other words if you feel like okay this isn't quite it here just make a make you know a little bit of a change don't don't be radical make a little bit of a change try it there and you can slowly move towards another way as opposed to just you know like doing that you're doing this this week it's like uh, people doing fad diets you know, um, there's a lot of similarities in our world to the sad world out there and all the BS diets out there. You know, just people, and I feel bad sometimes because there's people out there that I, you know, I can sympathize but I can't empathize with. I mean, you know, I've never had to deal with um, bad illness or pain. Um, so, you know, when I'm talking to anybody that has any kind of major problems, like illnesses or, or they suffer from major pain, I tend to not say you should do this, you should do that, because they're, they're going through a different reality than me. Um, because, you know, I'm not a good sick person, and I can think of times when I have been sick, and, you know, there is a desperation. When you don't feel good, there's a desperation to feel better. There's a desperation to lose weight. And like I say, even though it doesn't make sense, you can't quite flip that psychology for the overweight person. Um, and you know that in their mind you can tell them hey it's not about the way it's about being healthy but in their mind that's the elephant in the room it's just like it's always there and in their minds it is the biggest thing out there so you know I can sympathize with that but to finish it off you want to use the best method that's going to give you the best chance of being successful. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what you feel. It doesn't matter, you know, like I say, if you are overweight or if you're ill and if you're do using the wrong methods, you know, you're not, it doesn't matter. You're not going to get there. So anyhow, just, just, you know, don't, don't be so quick to jump off what you're doing. Don't be so quick to do something new. Give what you're doing a little bit of time, and then if it doesn't work, make a few changes. Anyhow, just my two cents worth. If you like this one, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel, and I hope you're having a wonderful week. Peace.